Hi guys, welcome back to the Ed Recovery Blog YouTube channel. Before we get started on our video, we just want to say that we hope that all of you guys in the Ed Recovery family are safe and healthy and are handling this scary time in our world the best way that you can. So today's video, we're going to be talking about 10 things that you can do when you're at home, whether you're social distancing or you've been ordered to quarantine. All of these things can help your recovery in some way and can help you to stay distracted and feel productive in a way that you are working on your recovery and doing the best with this time that you have. First thing that we thought of to do is a fear food challenge. This could be either by yourself, with a family member, you could do it via FaceTime with someone that's supportive in your recovery, but this could be super helpful to help your your fear foods to become something that's not as scary for you anymore and to make a very good use of this time where you are home and you're able to fully focus on recovery. Our next idea is to read recovery books. We have a page on the blog that lists a bunch of books that we recommend for reading in your recovery. Some of our favorites are Eating in the Light of the Moon, Life Without Ed. There's another one that is really good for if you're struggling with depression during this time and that one is Reasons to Stay Alive and that one's a great one to read as well. Our next tip is to journal. You can journal just freehand and just kind of write how you're feeling, or you can use specific prompts. You can usually Google or go on Pinterest and find a bunch of prompts that you can use for either if you want it to be super recovery focused or if you want it to be more in regards to something else, you can kind of find what you're directing those journal prompts into. The next one that we have is to watch inspiring TED Talks. There are so many TED Talks out there online on YouTube and a lot of them are really really great and inspirational so we would definitely recommend finding one of those. It can be about recovery, it can be about mental illness, it can just be about being motivated in general and a lot of those times they can help with something and sometimes they're longer, sometimes they're shorter but they can be super helpful. Another idea is to get rid of your sick clothes. This is something that we would always recommend, but it can be something good to do while you're stuck at home because you can go through all of your clothes and find out which clothes are really embedded in your eating disorder and which ones are more clothes that you enjoy and that fit you comfortably and that you know are not something that is going to trigger your eating disorder. Another thing that you can do is you can try online therapy. We really recommend BetterHelp. It's a great website and they have so many therapists on there and when you're home, it's really easy to be able to Skype with someone. You can text sometimes between sessions and this can be a way to keep your mental health and your recovery progress going even if you're not physically able to go to therapy appointments. We do have a link below if you want to register for your first session on BetterHelp. We'll link that below for you guys and we hope that you're able to use it and to get that much needed support during this hard time. Another idea is to make a recovery quote book. Now for this we would suggest going on to Google or Pinterest and finding any quotes that either pertain to your recovery or just are motivational in general. If this helps you, you could also do faith-based quotes, anything that's really going to help you to stay inspired. And you can do it as like a scrapbook kind of thing where you can paste things from magazines or photos or whatever you'd like to paste in. Or you can just write them with, you know, markers that you like or even just a pen and paper. And just to keep that book near you as much as you can, especially during meal times. And she just kind of flip through it and it really helps to remind you of the quotes that you would like to help you with your recovery and also just quotes in general that you'd like to live by. It's important to revisit these often so that way you are making sure that you are on the right track and that you are also keeping your spirits up because when you're home and you're not able to see friends as often, it can be very isolating and it's important to try to keep the motivation up as, most, as best as you can. Another tip that we have is to make a coping skill box. This is something that you can make out of like an old shoe box or even if you don't have an old shoe box, you could just use like a Ziploc bag or something like that and fill it with things that are positive coping skills for you specifically. When you're having a bad day either with anxiety or depression or your eating disorder and these things are ways to help 
to find a healthy way to cope with those feelings. So for example, you could put a journal in there. If you like journaling, you could put um, headphones in there because you like listening to music. You could put your quote book. You could put a stress ball. You could put notes from friends. You could put the phone numbers of friends that you know are gonna be really supportive and then that can remind you to call them if you're having a really tough time. Basically anything that is going to help you to to remember that you don't need to use your eating disorder to cope even during these very difficult times that there are other ways that you can cope and that you can get through it. The ninth thing that we have that you can do is to FaceTime friends or family members. This is something that can be super helpful during this time because you really don't want to isolate because that can lead to a lot of eating disorder behaviors and a lot of mental health issues becoming stronger and so we definitely recommend facetiming supportive people in your recovery and just even if you guys are watching a tv show together or a movie together it's still nice to just feel like you have someone there our final idea of things to do in your recovery while you're stuck at home is to make a gratitude list this is something that can be done you can do it each morning and write one or two things that you are grateful for or if you're just having a particularly difficult day you can make a long list with as many things as you can think of of things that you're grateful for and hang it somewhere where you can see it most often you know in your bathroom or in your bedroom and then that way when you're having those tough days and you're really you know just being overwhelmed with the current state of how our world is and just how scary all of this is you can remind yourself of the things that you are grateful for and that you still do have those things and that this uncertainty feeling this uncertainty way of our world going on is not going to last forever so those are our 10 ideas of things that you can do for your recovery while you're social distancing or staying at home we're able to help you during this very difficult time we'd really like to say again to everyone watching this video we know that this time is so scary and it really doesn't feel real sometimes and it just feels very uncertain about the state of our world but it is not going to last like this forever things are going to get better we just have to continue to be kind to one another to do your best to stay home to be do your best to wash your hands and to do just the best that you can during this time to take care of yourself and to take care of others. We would also like to announce that we are going to be selling these hoodies and it says more self-love with the eating disorder recovery symbol. So these are going to be available on our bonfire store and we are also going to be donating a percentage of the proceeds to a charity that helps with everything that's going on in the world so we will give you some more information about that but if you'd like to pick one of these up definitely do so they're really comfy and it supports a good cause thank you so much for watching this video we hope that you have a good rest of your day and that you're hanging in there during this time